a doctor or medical professional before participating in any activities offered by Chronically Awesome. Never rely on our content in place of seeking professional medical advice. By using this video, you agree that you are voluntarily using or acting upon our content. You also agree that, say, where Chronically Awesome is at fault, your use of or acting upon the content is at your own risk, including, but not limited to, all risk to yourself of harm, injury or illness, and in particular, any harm, injury or illness resulting from overexertion or exacerbation of any medical conditions caused by the use of the content. Always remember that if you experience pain while using or acting upon our content, stop and consult your doctor or medical professional. Always warm up before a class and warm down after. You do not need to complete an entire class. You can always start with a short section and build up to completing a full class over time. Pace yourself and listen to your body. Most of all, have fun. Exercise should be empowering and make you feel good. If it's not fun, try a different style of class until you find something you enjoy. Hi, it's Faye from Chronically Awesome. Today we're going to do bar and you'll need a support, such as your kitchen top or back of a chair. So get that ready and I'll see you at the bar. Okay, so let's begin. Nice, wide, natural stance here, firmly planting those roots down into the ground. Fantastic, and roll your shoulders down your back. Let's continue with some shoulder rotations. Up, back and round. Up, back and round, good. So nice, big circles, releasing the upper body tension. Good. Last one, backwards. And now forwards, we go up and around, good. Letting go of that day-to-day -day tension. And last one, up and forward, good. Take those elbows back and round, good. With a plie in between this time, fantastic. Just checking in with our body, introducing a small bit of movement. And forward. Good. And last one, very nice. Bring those arms out and we're going to contract. So feel that pelvis tilt forwards, chin down to chest, pull that tummy right into the back of the room. Release chest, high release to the ceiling, tilt your pelvis back and draw it in, tilt forward and out and up. Tilt in, really using those well abs and release, chest to the sky. In and release, last one. Draw it in, contract and release with that stretch across the chest. Good, interlace your fingers, drawing in and contract, pulse, pelvis tilting forward, chin to chest. Feel that stretch across top of the back. Really push your hands away from you. Fantastic. And release. Bring those arms down to sides. Lovely. Good. So we're here at the bar and we're going to place one hand on the bar. Feet in first position. So that's heels together. Hand on the hip. Let's warm up our feet. Plie. And rise. Stretch. And lower. Good. Plie and rise, stretch and lower. Keep those shoulders stacked on top of the hips. Good, stretch and lower again. Plie, knees over toes, rise, squeeze the glutes and down. Reverse, so up, knees over toes, push those heels into the floor and stretch, good. So guys, if you ever feel that this is a bit too much of a challenge balance-wise, of course you can do this with two hands on the bar. In the same breath, if this feels like you want a bit more of a challenge, you could place both hands on the hips. Good, so draw that tummy in, find your core stability. Good, last time here. Rise, plie. Heels down and stretch. Let's turn towards the bar, step one foot behind and push that heel into the floor, stretching out your calves. Good. 
Let's switch, pushing back. Good. And together. Nice, let's shake those legs out and you're gonna turn to the side of your bar now, one hand on the bar. Okay, so bring those toes together, hand on the hip. Okay, draw your shoulders down and tummies in, quieting the rib cage. Soften the knees. Now our said leg is going to stretch directly to the sides of us here. Now we're going to take it on diagonal. So it's not directly behind us, it's not directly to the side of us, it's somewhere in between, it's on diagonal here. Okay, good. So here we are really gonna be working the outer thigh and the outer glute, okay? Take care to keep those shoulders stacked on top of the hips. Lots of length of the front of the body and don't sit into your supporting hip or the bar. Just a nice light touch here. We're going to take our leg lift. Good. So squeeze this glute to lift the leg. Fantastic. Lovely. Good. And that's three, two, and one. We're going to release this outside leg now, arm, sorry, now, and lengthen and pull away. So this gives you a little bit extra in the oblique area. And you want to pull away with your fingers from your centre line. Good. So if that feels too much, just pop your hand on your hip. Lovely. That's three. Extend. Two. And one. Very nice. Hand on the hip. Turn your shoulders on fast to the front again. With that big toe, you're going to bend, extend. Bend, extend. Good. So that big toe is still connected to the floor. This is just a really small movement here. Good, three, and two, and last one. Very nice, good. I want you to cross that foot in front of the other, push your hip away from the bar, and then lean toward the bar. So you're getting a lovely stretch here, called the mermaid stretch. Across the body, and the outside glute. Good. We're going to repeat that on the second side now. Thank you.